when I was being treated for my cancer, my oncologist, uh, one of the things he said to me was that um, they can beat the cancer that my battle would be with hopelessness and despair. You know? if, if I can beat hopelessness and despair, I, I can win the battle on cancer. And that was the battle. We started here. There's Moose Woman Arch. Down, 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 down. Gooseberry, first night. Down, 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 down. There's Murphy's Hog Back. Past Candlestick. Potato Bottom, that we were last night. My body feels like it's been lit on fire and then dumped in water and lit on fire again, then buried for a week. And then someone said, here, <laughs> ride a bike. <laughs> Pretty tired. Hard Scrabble, we're now right there. It's day three on the White Rim. We've ridden 67 miles in two days. We've had several crashes and near disasters. I really feel like I can do this last 13. Even with hard Scrabble Hill to start off with? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything about hard Scrabble Hill. <laughs> In the guidebook, all it says about hard oh, Scrabble no. Hill is up, up, and away. Oh, no. Oh, come oh, on. Oh. <laughs> you didn't tell us that yesterday. <laughs> I've decided I hate mountain biking humor. <laughs> Today, we push for the finish line. Well, not all of us. I thought that conquering the White Rim was going to go down as one of my greatest victories. But I wasn't destined to finish that ride. My, my left knee is on a pain scale of like, at one to 10, I'm probably at a seven and a half or an eight. Like the most pain I've experienced in that knee my entire life, to the point where I might Think about riding in the car and the hogs back, but maybe not. We'll see. I don't. That would feel really depressing. Right. I would, <laughs> no shame. Never, in never saw myself as that guy, especially since I've been working towards this for like months. Oh. This becomes the crutch now. That knee. I, I totally want to be able to finish the ride. I want to be able to feel like I can say that I did it. You know. Yeah. Because that would just, that would be soul crushing. Be like, hey guys, I picked out this ride that I can't even do myself. Uh, no crushing about that. Yeah. Well, you have no control over joints or ligaments. It's not your right, thing. Right. Yeah. Totally yeah. disconnected and, from your confidence, from anything. I mean, Sam, you've put in 45 miles already. I know, but if that was a class grade, I'd get an F. I wouldn't even pass. If I was on my own, I'd die out here in the desert. <laughs> well, you're not on your own. <laughs> That's true. I'm the one who dreamed of the trip, the one who planned it. I trained harder than anybody. I was really looking forward to finishing. I wanted so badly to conquer this. I heard someone say that the hardest thing sometimes is to go to someone else's party. That moment the guys crossed the finish line and cheered, we did it, inside of me a voice said, but you are not a part of that. It was really hard not to lose heart. Like Craig said, our biggest battle may be with hopelessness and despair. That was a far bigger line than the one I had planned on. Really, Sam, I, I think that pain, disappointment, right? Setback, uh, something every guy faces. And overcoming that, not losing heart in the face of disappointment is much bigger than anything we've faced this week. Not to lose heart is a, is a battle every guy faces. The verse that I was thinking of you this morning was uh, Psalm 73, uh, in the Psalms where David says, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Just um, strength of heart in this. Letting God be your strength of heart, rallying from disappointment, 
maybe, honestly, the biggest message of this trip. It's hard to, it's, it's hard to do it, for sure. Right. So God, be the strength of my heart in this. Yeah. Right? Help me rally in this. Yeah. Help me not lose heart.